Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip. In today's video, we're gonna talk about all of the different types of video cables there are. Check it out. So three different types of cables that we're gonna look at. We're gonna look at DVI cables, VGA cables, and then of course HDMI cables. They all have their uh, pros and cons. We're gonna start with the DVI cables. Now there's a couple different types of DVIs. You have DVI-I, which is, carries the analog signal, and then you have DVI-D, which carries the digital signal. And we'll look at how to identify both of those. And uh, in this cable right here, this is a DVI cable. You can tell because it's white. White usually indicates DVI. And then if you look real close right here, there's a line right there. That line, if there's just a line, then it's a DVI-D for digital. If there's uh, two dots on top and then two dots on bottom, it's going to be a DVI-I, which is the analog signal. Another way to tell is also look here, you can see a break between the pins. That means this is a single link cable. This cable can only handle up to a 60 hertz monitor. If there's multiple pins and there's a, a straight row of pins, like for example, I have 144 hertz monitors at home, I have to have what they call a dual link DVI cable, and that means it's a full row of pins right there on the bottom. So that's a good way to tell a DVI. This is your modern day um, cable for any, any type of displays. So an HDMI and this cable actually share, share the same signal. The only difference between these two is HDMI actually carries the audio with it. We'll look at that in just a moment here. Now the next cable we're gonna look at is going to be the VGA cable. And this is old school technology. VGA has been around for a long time. It's a 15 pin cable, it's blue. You've probably seen it on a lot of older monitors, projectors, things like that. You can tell, like I said, it's got uh, 15 rows. I know it's really hard to see, but it's got uh, three rows of five pins uh, indicating that this is this is old school. This, this cable has been replaced with HDMI and the DVI cables as well. So last one we're gonna look at is the HDMI. And this is a perfect example because this is actually an HDMI to DVI adapter. Now HDMI of course goes from HDMI to HDMI. The difference between the HDMI and the DVI is the HD cable just carries the audio signal. That's really the only difference between the two. Um, this one, for example, is a, uh, this is a dual link. This can be a dual link because as you notice, it's got full row of pins. So it's a DVI-D because there's, there's only a line, there's no, there's, no, there's no pins on top or bottom of that line. And then you can also see it's got a full row of pins, which means this is a dual link system. This will handle, uh, I believe, I'm not exactly sure what the limit of hertz is, but this will handle up to like at least 144 hertz. I know that from experience. So, uh, those are, so those are the three main types of cables that we looked at today. Again, HDMI, or sorry, HDMI, VGA, which is old school technology. It's been replaced by the fantastic DVI right there. Hey guys, thanks for checking out that tech tip video. Be sure to join us every Tuesdays and Thursdays. We do new videos, new content. Also be sure to check out some of our other videos. If you know somebody that could use this information, give it a like, share this video to them. We'll see you on the next one.